magazine, newsstand CNN and Time broadcast a report that in Laos during the Vietnam War, the U.S. used nerve gas in an operation aimed mainly at American defectors. Critics disputed those conclusions, and CNN asked attorney Floyd Abrams to investigate. His report has just been released, and CNN News Group chairman Tom Johnson is releasing this statement. Nothing is more important to a news organization than its reputation for accuracy, fairness, and responsibility. Building and maintaining high standards of journalistic excellence have been critical to the success of CNN since its launch 18 years ago. As chairman of the CNN News Group, I am responsible for assuring our staff and viewers that we get the story right. CNN Newsstand's recent coverage of Operation Tailwind, a covert action conducted by U.S. servicemen in Laos more than 28 years ago, reported that a deadly nerve gas was used and that American defectors were a primary target of the military action. The original report came to us from personnel involved in the tailwind operation and was supported by individuals who were in a position to know about the operation. Since the first newsstand tailwind broadcast, hundreds of veterans and other former government officials have denied the reports. As a result, CNN commissioned an independent investigation of newsstands reporting on Operation Tailwind, led by a highly respected outside media attorney, Floyd Abrams. The report concludes that newsstands broadcast on Operation Tailwind cannot be supported. There is insufficient evidence that sarin or any other deadly gas was used. Furthermore, CNN cannot confirm that American defectors were targeted or at the camp, as Newsstand reported. CNN alone bears responsibility for both the television reports and for the printed article in the June 15th issue of Time magazine. We acknowledge serious faults in the use of sources who provided Newsstand with the original reports and therefore retract the tailwind story. We apologize to our viewers and to our colleagues at Time for this mistake. CNN owes a special apology to the personnel involved in Operation Tailwind, both the soldiers on the ground and the U.S. Air Force pilots and the U.S. Marine Corps helicopter pilots who were involved in this action. CNN's system of journalistic checks and balances, which has served CNN exceptionally well in the past, failed in this case. The fault lies with the editors, producers, and reporters, and executives responsible for the report, the program, and its contents. We are taking vigorous steps to strengthen our internal procedures to assure that mistakes of this type do not occur in the future. That is a statement from CNN News Group Chairman Tom Johnson. Straight ahead. And not be supported. Gary Gutley looks at the retraction and its journalistic implications. It is one of the oldest dilemmas in journalism, the iron law of reporting the truth as best as can be determined versus what a reporter may believe but cannot prove. CNN and Time. It was nerve gas. The U.S. on a top secret mission. The tailwind story produced and broadcast on CNN and printed in Time magazine is the latest in a series of recent cases of reporting which was faulty. In other incidents, stories were fraudulent or even fantasy. On Sunday, the Cincinnati Inquirer published an apology for a story that the company producing Chiquita Bananas had caused deaths by using illegal pesticides in Latin America. The paper said its reporter had lied about obtaining information illegally from voicemail recordings. The Inquirer paid $10 million to Chiquita. In May, the New Republic investigated and acknowledged that writer Stephen Glass fabricated stories. He was fired. 27 of Glass's articles for the magazine included extended figments of the writer's imagination. And in Boston last month, the editors of the Boston Globe acknowledged that they were slow in investigating suspicions that popular columnist Patricia Smith was inventing people as well as quotes in her stories about Boston life. Before she, too, was fired, Smith said she was proud of her work. You have to understand that when you, when you stir up the waters the way, you know, I do sometimes, that even the people that you work for would like to distance themselves from you. Again, there is a difference between pure fabrication and faulty reporting on the facts, but neither is journalism. Still, when it does occur, do journalists handle it right? In the case of the CNN report, Time magazine printed its concern over the facts, and CNN launched its own investigation. And we mean it when we say we intend to hold ourselves to the same standards we ask other institutions to meet. We will have an extended look at the controversy and the criticism in the near future. What do you make of this and similar conflicting evidence? Journalists were the first to search for why mistakes occur. Well, I think that what is misunderstood a lot today is the enormous pressure 
that reporters and producers are under to come up with a story on the premiere or a, or a debut of a broadcast. There is quite a big story about journalism today. The cable news network CNN and Time magazine have retracted a report today. That CNN tonight apologized to its viewers and to its colleagues at Time magazine. CNN's acknowledgement has received extensive coverage and for good reason. Journalists are concerned about their credibility with the public. In the end, that is the bedrock of their, our profession. Will there be further sins of omission or commission? No doubt, and no doubt there will be explanations. But there can be no excuses. Garrett Utley, CNN, New York. Coming up in just two minutes, Florida wildfires rage out. 7 M-O-R-E. Thursday before the Whitewater Grand Jury. Tripp's attorney said his client was helping her. CNN is retracting a story on Operation Tailwind, according to the report. United States used nerve gas during the Vietnam War on American defectors. Two producers of the report say they've been fired. A third has resigned. David Daniel looks at the controversial report and its retraction. CNN and Time. The report first aired as part of CNN and Time magazine's newsstand program last month, and parts of it aired on this network. It concerned Operation Tailwind, a covert action conducted in Laos by U.S. servicemen nearly 30 years ago. It reported that American defectors were targeted with a deadly nerve gas. Strong denials and other negative reaction to the report prompted CNN to order the investigation, and now the retraction. A statement from CNN News Group Chairman Tom Johnson reads in part, CNN alone bears responsibility for both the television reports and for the printed article in the June 15th issue of Time magazine. We acknowledge serious faults in the use of sources who provided newsstand with the original reports and therefore retract the tailwind story. We apologize to our viewers and to our colleagues at Time for this mistake. CNN owes a special apology to the personnel involved in Operation Tailwind, both the soldiers on the ground and the U.S. Air Force pilots and U.S. Marine Corps helicopter pilots who were involved in this action. It was nerve gas. Johnson's statement notes that nothing is more important to a news organization Operation than its reputation for accuracy, fairness, and tailwind. responsibility, and that CNN is taking vigorous steps to ensure such mistakes do not occur in the future. Two David Daniel, Headline News. Today's top story is coming up. Still ahead, computer technology is advancing in leaps and bounds, so why are stocks for computer chip companies...